The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about pregnancy. What are the vitamins which you need during pregnancy week by week exactly what you need to know. See a healthy diet is the best way to get the vitamins and minerals you need. But even if you are eating a healthy diet you might fall short on the key nutrients right. So if you are pregnant or hoping to get pregnant then prenatal vitamins can actually help you fill these gaps okay prenatal vitamins typically contain more folic acids irons than other uh, normal adult vitamins right so why is it so because uh, prenatal vitamins uh, because folic acid actually helps prevent the neural tube defects in your baby in your upcoming baby right neural tube means brain disorders brain defects these are the defects which are uh, which are very serious abnormalities of the brain and the spinal cord and iron supplements are required for the baby's growth and development iron also helps prevent anemia low hemoglobin which is a condition in which the blood has very low number of healthy red blood cells which supply the hemoglobin which containing oxygen which contains oxygen and which supplies the oxygen to the baby as well as the mother right in addition uh, much of the research which has been done in this area suggests that prenatal vitamins decrease the risk of having a baby who is small small in size as compared to the gestational age See, not all prenatal vitamins include other things, but they like omega-3 fatty acids, which are good, which might help promote the baby's brain development. So if you don't eat fish or other foods which are high in omega-3 as fatty acids like flax seeds, dry fruits, right, other things, then your doctor might recommend you to add omega-3 fatty acid supplements in addition to prenatal vitamins then calcium and vitamin d are also important right especially during the third trimester the last three months when your baby bones are rapidly growing and strengthening right and prenatal vitamins are available very easily over the counter in your nearby pharmacy so your doctor will recommend a specific brand of these vitamins or you can actually uh, choose from the available brands as well but you should leave this choice to your doctor quite frankly generally a prenatal vitamin would contain folic acid calcium iron vitamin d plus minus omega 3s right so it also it is also quite beneficial to look for uh, another other additional vitamins like vitamin c vitamin a e zinc iodine and copper these are also helpful remember prenatal vitamins are a complement to your healthy diet it's not a substitute of good nutrition so prenatal vitamins won't necessarily meet the hundred percent need of your vitamins and minerals right so in addition to prenatal vitamins you need a good healthy balanced diet in addition to your in addition your healthcare provider your doctor will suggest a higher dose of certain nutrients depending upon your circumstances for example if uh, you have given a birth to a baby who has a neural tube defect previously so your doctor might recommend you to a separate supplement containing higher dose of folic acid such as a four milligram uh, uh, dose right which can be started before and during uh any subsequent pregnancies right ideally right you will start taking prenatal vitamins before conception before even you uh, have your pregnancy test right before planning so ideally you should start it before pregnancy uh, because it is a good idea uh, to actually have folic acid in your system to prevent neural tube defects because it's 
actually the first four or five weeks in which the neural tube development happens and quite frankly you basically diagnose when you have pregnancy after the fourth fifth week of pregnancy when you don't get your period right already it's already a month right since your last menstrual cycle so already that golden time has gone so it's very important to start folic acid even before you have a uh, conception for pregnancy right so <clears throat> then uh, some women will feel a little queasy after taking prenatal vitamins a little discomfort and it if this happens to you you can take your prenatal vitamins with a snack or you can take it before you go to bed at night that is that is a bit good idea in other cases uh, the iron in the prenatal vitamins can lead to constipation right to prevent constipation drink a lot of water include more fiber in your diet include physical activity in your daily routine as long as you have uh, a go from your doctor obviously right if your doctor said no physical no uh, activity bed rest then bed rest okay and ask your doctor if you actually can use a stool softener that is also a good idea then if these tips don't help then you should go to a doctor to your gynecologist and they will recommend any additional or other type of supplement which you need according to your situation but in general a pregnant or a lady who wants to get pregnant should actually take care of all these vitamins very carefully it's not just about you it's about your baby's health so please talk to your doctor before even planning a baby good luck i'm dr paramjeet you're watching doctor education stay connected and stay healthy